Hello and welcome back to another computer sluggish tutorial. Paul has asked if I can do a video on a useful computer diagnostics and repair program. And yes, I can. If you go on over to the link that's in the description below, you'll end up on a page that looks like this. This is the tweaking.com Windows repair tool and it basically has lots of free repair options within the program. You can pay for the pro version which obviously gives you a lot more features but the free version is still just as good. Once you're on this link or this page should I say you need to click on the download button and you need to go save file. Once you save the file we can now run the setup file. And we're going to go next. There are two versions of the program. You can actually install a portable version as well. Once it's finished installing, we're now going to open the tweaking.com repair program by pressing next and go finish. You now need to go I agree. And this is the first page you will get. You now need to go across to step one. And basically step one is to do a proper power reset of your machine before doing any of the tweaks on this program. But if you don't want to do that then that's absolutely fine. You can now jump to step two which is a pre-scan. If I just click on open pre-scan. And as you can see, it says here, this tool will do a quick scan of three sections of the system that might interfere with the repairs as well as identify other potential problems. There's the scans it's going to do there. Windows package file, system repass points, and then also environment variables. I'm not going to do the scan. I'm just going to go back now. But obviously, I highly recommend that you do the scan since you're following this video because you've got a problem with your machine. I'm now going to press close and we're going to go across to step three. Step three is to run a check file system which basically scan your computer and check for any other file system errors. Once you've done that we can now go to step four and that's also a system file check. So as you can see, there are already quite a few options within this Windows repair program, which is absolutely great, especially where it's free. I highly recommend that you do download this and give it a try. Next, we got our backup tools. As you can see here, we can do a registry backup, a permissions backup. Nope, sorry, you can't do a permissions backup unless you've got the pro feature, but you can also do a system restore backup which is absolutely great. Now, if we go across to the repairs, as you can see here, it's got a couple of presets, but if you click on the open repairs, it will bring up a huge list of all the repairs you can do. You can simply untick what you don't want to repair and what you do want to repair. And as you can see, there is a huge list there, repair network, repair icons, we got repair Windows Firewall, repair Internet Explorer. The list goes on. There's too much for me to even read out. As, as you can see, it just goes on. Once you've selected what you want to repair, I'm just going to simply deselect everything and just quickly show you. I will repair CD and DVD missing or not working. I've ticked the box and then all you need to do is press start repairs. And as you can see, it's now doing the repair. And it's as simple as that. I can now restart my computer and then that repair will be done. I'm going to go ahead now and press no. And we're just going to close that down and see what other options we have. You've got advanced repairs, but you do need the pro version. And then you've got advanced tools, which you also need the pro version. And that is it for the Windows repair tweaking.com it's a really good program like I said it's got lots of repairs in there and if you're having problems with your Windows machine definitely give this a try before reinstalling Windows as it could resolve any issue, issues you're having I hope this tutorial has helped if it has hit the like button below and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials